Here's how to get flashback 1.21.7 for Minecraft. In my opinion, the best alternative for the replay mod. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first step to install the flashback mod is to click the second link in the description that is going to place you in the flashback mod page. In here, select game version and select 1.21.7. That will show you the version right here and go ahead and click download for the mod 1.21.7 version. Now, once you download that file, as you can notice in here, it's a fabric mod file. So if you already have the fabric mod loader installed, just go ahead and add flashback into your mod folder. Just make sure you are running fabric API as well and you're done with this video but i'm assuming most of you don't have fabric installed so that's what we're going to do next now one of the requirements is going to be the fabric api you could even check yourself if you click on the flashback mod in here it'll tell you that one of the dependencies is the fabric api so if you click on the third link in the description that'll put you in the fabric api page select game version and select 1.21.7 and hit download right here the download will begin right away and we're gonna go ahead and drag and drop that file into our desktop just like we did with the flashback mod you can find that file here on the recent download history again or the default downloads folder of your computer now once we downloaded the fabric api lastly we need to download the fabric mod load so click on the third link or fourth link at this point. Anyways, it's going to be labeled. And that's a quick article in here on how to install Fabric in case I go too fast in this video. But if you want to go straight to the point, just go over to step one, press on Fabric, now redirect you over here where we're going to press Download Universal Jar and the download for the Fabric installer will begin right away. And just like we've done so far, we're going to place it in our desktop. Now we are done downloading things, I promise. Now for the next step, you need to close your Minecraft game as well as your Minecraft launcher. And with both of those closed, go ahead and open the Fabric installer. Simply double click on it. And if it doesn't open, don't worry, I'm going to teach you how to fix that in a second but once it does open though select minecraft 1.21.7 and hit install and like i was saying if it didn't open perhaps you don't have java 21 and this is a requirement for modding minecraft 1.21.7 so i'll leave you this article as well in the description very easy you just download java 21 hit next a couple of times and you'll be able to open jar files you'll be able to mod minecraft 1.21.7 now after you install java and perhaps we're able to install fabric all we have to do is press ok in here and close the fabric installer and now we could even delete the fabric installer just the installer though do not delete the fabric API just yet. We need to add these mods into our mods folder. If you already know how to do that, go ahead and do so. But if not, follow along. Go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. And when the Minecraft launcher opens, if you install Fabric properly, you should see it selected here automatically. But we're not going to hit play just yet because we need to add our mod. Now, for that, head over to installations. Make sure you have modded selected right here. Without modded, you actually won't see Fabric. And if you still don't see Fabric after you press mod it, just click on new installation, look for Fabric and the versions, and then just add it into here. But once you have Fabric, hover over it and press where it says open installations folder. That is going to open a folder containing a lot of files. I don't want you to freak out or be scary here. All you're looking for is a folder called mods, M-O-D-S. My mods folder is right here, but I'm actually going to delete it to teach you what to do if you don't have a mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, all you have to do is press on new, press folder, and name this folder M-O-D-S, mod. So if you don't have a mods folder, just go ahead and create it yourself. And then go ahead and open this folder app. And in here, as you could imagine, we're going to drop our mods, flashback and fabric API. Just go ahead and drag and drop them into here. If you have any other mods that you want to add in here, just make sure they are compatible with fabric as well as with micro one that 21.7. You can run Forge mods or Neo Forge mods with Fabric, okay? So if you have Forge mods in here, just get them out for now and run the Fabric mod. Now, after you're done, close this folder, head back into the Minecraft launcher and hit play under Fabric. You could also do it from here, from the main screen. If this is the first time you're launching Fabric, you might get a prompt in there, read through it, and if you agree, hit play one more time. Now, while Fabric opens and we use our flashback mods, if you need a server, use the first link in the description, you'll be supporting the channel. And not only that, the first 25 people to use Apex Sync with the first link in the description will get 25% off your Minecraft server you already know the million advantages you get of running your own server. I'm not going to tell you all of that. Just wanted to let you know that first link will give you 25% off. Now, our game has already opened. And if we look right here, we already have the flashback mod running, which is great, but we don't have any files. So how do you create videos with flashback? Well, it's actually extremely easy. All you have to do is load a single player world or a multiplayer world. If you have your own server, if you don't, I'm going to leave you that first link in the description again. And once you're inside the world, all you have to do is press escape. And then you can start your recording right here. Let's say I start my recording and then I play, you do whatever you want. You get your nice footage in there and you press escape again you could either pass your recording cancel it or finish it i'm gonna go ahead and press finish my recording you get to name it in here i'm gonna leave it as it is and then you're gonna press where it says save replay after that you could come over to your main menu and then you head over to the flashback button right here and you will see your replay right here you could go ahead and edit that replay or you could just go ahead and open that replay so we could actually edit it with the video editor now once you're in here as you can see it's gonna give you like a quick walk around or walk through on how to do this but i'm just gonna skip that because well i'm not going to edit this video right now i'm gonna leave it that for you guys to do. But there you have it. How to install Flashback 1.21.7. In my opinion, the best replacement mod for replay mod. And if this video helped you guys, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.